Welcome to day two of discovering God's plan for you. Our verse for the week, Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. Yesterday we talked about all things work together for good, but not all things are good. And for them to work together for good, it says to them that love God. There are people that don't love God. They, they love this world, they love their sin, a lot more than they love God. And, and those things... They won't, they won't come out good for them in the end because one day all of us will stand before God and without the forgiveness that comes in Christ Jesus, the end is really hard. God's plan is about obedience. You prove your, your love for God by your obedience. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And, and, and it says, this, by this we know that that we love God because we keep his commandments. Obedience is, is part of our love for God. Our friend Joseph knew that because God was with him, he knew that he had to be obedient to those that had charge of him. Even though he was a slave, he had to be obedient. We find him being bargained for they finally settled for 20 pieces of silver, kind of a cheap price, and sold them to the uh, Ishmaelite traders, actually called Midianites when they get into Egypt. I don't know how that works. And he was sold in Egypt to a guy called Potiphar. He was captain of the guard of Pharaoh, pretty important man. Now, he was a slave, but he was a good slave. He did what he was told. And he, he, he was a prosperous man. He God blessed him there in his position. He kind of became the steward of Potiphar's house. Potiphar didn't even know what he had, not money, not anything. Probably was in charge of all the other servants. Potiphar just trusted him with everything because Joseph was the kind of person that was trustworthy. Now, back in Canaan, <laughs> you know, after, they sold, after the brothers sold Joseph, they had to find something to tell their dad. So they took his coat of many colors, they just stripped off from him and they tore it off and they put some uh, young, uh, young goat's blood all over it and, and rubbed it in the dirt and they said, is this your son's coat? And they convinced their dad that, that Joseph, their brother, had been eaten by some wild beast. Jacob was very sad and sorrowful and he mourned many, many days for his son. Now, as we shift back to Egypt, as time went along, Joseph had grown into a fine, handsome young man. Now, the Egyptians... Well, they weren't really God's people, didn't really know God. And Potiphar's wife, she wasn't a godly woman. And she, she wanted to get involved in a sin that many people do nowadays. You see, God's plan is for a man to marry a woman, and, and the man and woman are married for life, faithful to each other. But, but in our world, many times what happens is a man will love some other woman the way he should only love his wife. That's sin. The Bible calls it uh, fornication and adultery. Sometimes a woman will love some other man the way she should only love her husband. And again, that's sin. That's what was in Potiphar's wife's heart. She wanted Joseph to sin with her that way. But Joseph, he said, listen, your husband, your master, put me in charge of everything he has. He doesn't even know what he has and he's not kept anything away from me from you except you because you're his wife. He said, how can I sin? How can I do this and sin against God? But you know, she didn't take that for an answer. She kept saying, she kept after him every day, come, come, come. I, I want you, I want you, I want you. And finally there was a day when no one else was there with them. And she tried to force him. And he said, no, and ran away. And in the process, she took his, her, his outer garment. Then she got a wicked idea. She screamed and she said, this Hebrew came in to mock me. Help! And she kept that garment. And when her husband got home, she told him he was angry. He was angry about the whole thing. He had Joseph thrown into the prison where the king's prisoners were kept. Joseph was put in prison for saying no to the thing that he was accused of doing. Joseph 
was not guilty, but he was put in prison as though he was. That's pretty hard stuff. Sometimes obeying God is, is hard at first. But we're going to find out, though it's hard at first, it's much better in the end. I haven't met anyone yet that said, I'm so sad I obeyed God. I haven't met anyone. Thanks, that's our story. <laughs>